Hey there, today we will learn about even and odd numbers. So here even numbers and odd numbers. What do you mean by even numbers? Those numbers ends with 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 are even numbers. That means we have to check in the ones place that if there is any number of 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 is present in the ones place that means that number belongs to even number. Now let's see here you can see 26 and here in the ones place you can check that 6 is present out of this group of numbers that means it is even number. Now here you can also see the 30 and we have to check the ones place and in the ones place you can see 0 it is given that means from this group 0 is also there that means 30 is even number. Now let's see 148 so 8 is present in the ones place and it is also belongs to this group so that means 148 is also the even number so one rule we have to follow that is look at one's place and underline the number so that it will be easy for you to identify the even number now let's check about odd numbers now here you can see that odd numbers means those numbers ends with one three five seven nine are odd numbers so this group of numbers if are present in the ones place that means that number will be odd number now here you can check here 49 it is present and in the ones place 9 is there so 9 it is present from this group so that means this 49 belongs to odd number now let's check 63 and 3 is in the ones place and this 3 belongs to these groups that means odd number so 63 is odd number 251 so 1 is present in the ones place and this one belongs to these groups so that means 251 is an odd number so here also we have to follow the rules that is look at the ones place and underline the numbers to check if it is even or or numbers so naturally you have to only look at the numbers present in the ones place if in the ones place 0 2 4 6 8 numbers are present that means that number will belong to even numbers and if in the ones place 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 number it is present, that means that number belongs to odd number. So students, remember this one. Example for even or odd. So here you can find it out that 3 apples were there. And when we will make it a pair, you can see in a pair 2 apples, we will keep it. And here you can see one apple left behind. That means these three apples belongs to odd group. So here you can see these three apples belongs to odd group. Now let's take four apples. Now here you can see that four apples are there. And let's make a pair. So after making the pair you can see no apples left behind. So that means these four apples belongs to even group. So now let's check some another example. Here you can see 15 apples were there and let's make the pair. After making the pair one apple left behind. That means 15 is a odd number because one apple left behind now let's see 
one another example here you can see 14 it is given and 14 pairs are given let's make the pair and no pairs are left behind that means this 14 is an even number because no pairs left behind let's do some activities on odd and even numbers so here you can see that it is already given the hint odd numbers end with these digits 1 3 5 7 9 and even numbers end with these digits 0 2 4 6 8 now the question it is asking click on odd numbers that means we have to check those numbers which are present in the ones place that is 1 3 5 7 9 we have to check those numbers now here let's see 29 it is there we want to know if it is odd or not so here you can see that in the 29 9 is present in the ones place so that means this 29 is the odd number so we will click it now here 14 4 is present in the ones place so that means it is not the odd number it is even number so we will only check the numbers 1 3 5 7 9 which are present in the ones place so these are the numbers we will click so here you can check here these are the numbers we have to see the ones place only so after checking the ones place we have to click on these numbers let's see so after clicking on these odd numbers because we will only see the ones place if it in the ones place one three five seven nine it is present that means that number is odd numbers so let's check the final row so here we have already done and we have already click on the odd numbers now let's check what will be our result so check my answer so here yes we have got 10 by 10 so full out of full numbers we have got in the odd and even number worksheet so students just practice it like this